Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. So today we are going to explain another important instruction of PIG 18F microcontroller. And today's uh, instruction is uh, MUL working with file, right? So uh, what is the function of this instruction? The ins function of this instruction is to multiply the working register value, right, with a file register. Uh, and file register means any of the file register. We know that file register is a big uh, register in which there are multiple locations and every location can actually store eight bit of information. So we are considering any of those locations and any of those location is going to multiply with the working register, right? So uh, before we see uh, how this instruction works, uh, we need to witness an important fact. So let's consider that fact, right? Uh, so to understand it, let's say we want to multiply uh, a two bit number, right, with another two bit number. So two bit number can range from up to zero to three. I hope you know that because you know that it could be zero, zero, which will be equal to zero, one, sorry, zero, uh, zero, one, which could be equal to one, uh, one, zero, which will be equal to two, right? And then one, one, so which is equal to three. So uh, we are considering a two bit number so maximum number which can actually be represented by two bit number is what is three, right? So let's say we multiply three with three, right? So if we multiply three with three, what would be, what would be the result? Result would be what? Zero nine or simple nine. So what is going to be the binary of the results? Uh, so three is basically two bit number. It will be one, one, another, three is basically two bit number one, one. So when we are multiplying them, we are receiving nine and nine is uh, how many bit? Uh, nine, if you are going to convert nine into binary, how many bits will be used? Four bits will be used because nine's binary is one zero one one. So this is a thing that we wanted to witness before our uh, original instruction uh, usage. So you know that when we multiply a two bit number with another two bit number, so we can actually have result of four bit number. This is the fact that I wanted to explain you, right? So why? Because you know that in this working register, in this instruction, we are multiplying working with the file register, right? That means working register would be of how many bit? You know that it is eight bit number, right? Similarly, file register location, it is also eight bit number. So you multiply eight bit number with eight bit number. How many bits uh, or result could be how many bits, right? It could be, a, it, could, it could go easily up to 16 bit because when you multiply with two with two bit number, it result can appear as a four bit number. So if you multiply eight with an eight bit number, so result could be of how many bits? Of 16 bit, right? So that means, that means if we consider this instruction now, now we are ready to understand this instruction. If you multiply uh, working with file register, file register address, for example, let's say we write this instruction, mul working with file zero one hacks, right? Let's say I write this instruction. Okay, before we uh, try, try to understand it, let's put some dummy data in zero one hacks. So let's say zero one hacks value is currently two four hacks, right? It is an eight bit information. And similarly, the working register value is how many is one, two hacks. So it is eight bit information and file register zero, zero, one hacks, two, four hacks. It's again, eight bit information. And what we are going to do, we are going to multiply them using this instruction. So mul working with file and what file zero, one hacks, zero, one hacks content is two, four hacks and working register content is to, uh, to one, two. So working register, is going to multiply with the file register and what file register zero one address, right? So we are multiplying with them. So working register is what one, two hacks. And if you multiply it with file register zero one, zero one content is what two, four hacks. So both are basically uh, hacks information and we are multiplying them. So it is also eight bit information. It is also eight bit information. So when you multiply them, you actually receive Result is equal to two, eight, eight hacks, right? So if I consider it one more zero, so how many bits will be used to represent this 
uh, hexadecimal number. You know that one two is how many bit? Eight bit. Two four is how many bit? Eight bit. But these are now zero two double eight, right? Zero two double eight means uh, eight will consume consume four bits. Another eight bit consume four bits. Two will consume four bit, and this zero will consume four bit. So that means it is a sixteen bit result, right? That is the same fact that we were expecting. 8 bit multi number is being multiplied with another 8 bit number and result can go up to 16 bit if you can if you neglect this zero it is basically 12 bit but again point to be noted that that number of bits are being increased in uh, result right so why we are trying to understand this whole concept because you know that mul working with file 01 hex we need to know what is the destination uh, before this instruction if we put zero here destination would become working register if we put one here instead of zero it would become uh, file register which is 01 hex but for multiplication instruction we cannot do this thing why because multi either you put uh, file register as destination or you put working register as destination they can actually store up to 8 bit of information but this time we may need more than 8 bit because our result can actually exceed 8 bits right so what is the solution so solution is provided by pk18 at pk18f developers and what they did they actually dedicated two separate sfrs in file register so if you remember file register is composition of two parts gpr and sfr we have already discussed it in access bank uh, tutorial if you have missed it i will place a i card over here you can actually go and listen that lecture in which we discuss gpr and sfr so uh, here i'm not going to explain sfr but uh, you need to know there are two sfr which are present in the file register and they are individually 8 bit so what are their names let me write their name their name is uh, their name is product l and another name is product h so prod means product l means lower byte h means higher byte so you know that now 0288 is basically uh, two byte of information so product uh, l value would become in this case what it would become lower byte which is 88 hertz right and similarly uh, the value of product h would become 02 if you combinely read it it becomes 0288 which is the actual result but uh it is not stored in one location because you don't have any location which can have more than 8 bits so now we are using two separate locations uh, one is known as prod l and other is known as prod h so prod l will store lower byte of result and prod h will store a uh, higher byte of result right so this is the concept that we need to know so whenever you are uh, using this instruction Uh, let me write let me uh, raise the data so i have raised the data so mul working with file 01 hex that means working register content will multiply with the 01 hex both are 8 bit locations so what is going to happen we need more we need a location which is uh, it should be more than it should be composition of more than 8 bits so here we are dedicating to two uh, file registers location one is known as prodal and one as one another is known as prodash so what is going to happen result will go lower byte will go in prod l and higher byte will go in uh, uh prod h right so this is the default location there won't be any other destination this is the default destination and you, whenever you perform multiplication you will always find result in prod l and prod h which are fun which are basically part of file register as special function registers so i hope you have understand the function of uh, uh, this instruction if you have any confusion you can post in comment section uh thank you so much for listening